Against all odds, Ingenuity has lasted so long that it's now approaching its first winter on Mars. This means that increasing atmospheric dust, colder temperatures, and lower sun angle reduce its power and threaten to end the mission on this episode of Mars Guy. Ingenuity first took flight in April of 2021, which coincidentally was also spring in the northern hemisphere of Mars. The plan was to do five flights in about a month and to prove whether a helicopter could fly in the thin Martian atmosphere. It could, and it just kept going. But now it's mid-fall in Jezero, or Jezero Crater, a season no one ever expected to still be flying in. Ingenuity successfully completed its latest flight on Sol 423, April 29th on Earth, and sent back the NavCam images via the communications link to Perseverance. After exploring the parachute and back shell, which I presented in episode 56, and then the geologic contact with the Sita terrain, Ingenuity headed toward the cliffs of the Delta, including flying over the route driven by the Perseverance rover. The flight lasted for about two and a half minutes, covering 418 meters, that's about 13 kilometers per hour, at an altitude of 10 meters. Here's how the tracks looked, distorted by the wide-angle view of Ingenuity's navcam. And here's Mars Guy for scale. At the end of the flight, Ingenuity rotated about 90 degrees before coming in for a landing. All seemed well until a few sols later when Ingenuity missed a scheduled communication session with Perseverance on Sol 427, an unwelcome first in its long mission. On Sol 429, Perseverance was commanded to essentially drop everything and spend the day listening for a call from Ingenuity. It came through late in the morning, with Ingenuity providing its health status, which was nominal, engineer speak for as expected. But the data indicated that Ingenuity had a low power fault overnight, which shut down its onboard computer, known as a field programmable gate array. This then reset its clock, which meant that the scheduled comm session with Perseverance, the next SOL, was out of sync with when it was supposed to be listening. It's thought that the low power was due in part to the seasonal increase of atmospheric dust diminishing sunlight on the solar array. Lower sun angle with the approach of winter also would diminish power input. Plus, the colder temperatures of this season mean more power is needed to run heaters to keep components warm. The net result is ingenuity is running out of power. The solution is to draw less power from the batteries overnight. This means lowering the temperature for when the heaters turn on from the current 5 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 40. And note the fun fact that minus 40 degrees is the only temperature that's the same in both Fahrenheit and Celsius, also known as damn cold. Ingenuity uses mostly commercial off-the-shelf electronic components that are rated to operate at minus 40, but not so with the batteries, which have a minimum charging temperature of zero degrees C, so they'll need to warm up during the day just to begin charging. This will be a challenging period for Ingenuity. Its survival now depends on the improvised solutions of the engineers and continued good luck for this remarkable flying machine. 